In this video, we will go over the other two types of cues. So the first video, uh, we went over first in, first out. So now in this video, I will just show you the other two types of cues, which is last in, first out and priority cue. So we're going to go back uh, to first and first out so you can see the difference. First and first out was just import Q, Q equals uh, Q dot Q, Q. Did I spell that right? Q, U, E, U, E. Okay, Q dot Q for I in range uh, five, Q dot put I, and then uh, we just ran this while Q dot while not uh, q dot empty to just want to print uh, q dot get okay so this first statement is initializing first in first out type of q now we're going to just copy this and I'm going to show you uh, how to initialize a last in first out q so it's just the same thing as above but the only thing we add is uh, lifeo so q equals q dot lifeo q so the thing you have to be careful of is in this case there's a capital l and there's a capital q all right so so now we have both statements and i'm just going to show you the difference of the outputs so let me just run this all right yeah so this doesn't look clean let me just uh actually end equals and we'll just put a little space in between each let me just put end here blah, blah, blah. okay so this should look also let me put a new line i forgot to put a new line and let me just print a new line so this was just uh separated two oh no not oh, what am i doing all right print a new line here okay all right finally Here's the difference. So as you can see, first in, first out is it's getting the first item that was first put in. And the difference with last in, first out is the last item that was put inside the queue is going to be the first item pulled out. So that's the difference between the, these two uh, types of queues. Now I want to go over priority queue. With priority queue, the order items are being uh, inputted has no significance. So the item with the lowest value always gets outputted first. So the order bears no significance. It's just the, the item with the lowest value. So let me just show you a quick example of this. So import Q, import time. So Q equals, this is how we initialize a priority Q dot priority Q, priority Q. Let's just put Q dot put one, Q dot put three, Q dot put four, and Q dot put two. Okay, so we're putting one, three, four, two. This is the order. So with priority Q, you're going to see the values being put out, uh, pulled out, are not going to be based on order. So what was it? So for I in range uh, Q dot Q size, Q size is just the length of Q, the amount of items Q holds. So in this case, uh, the length is going to be four because we're uh, putting in four items. So for I in range four, what we want to do is print Q dot get. So this is just a quick example to show you how priority Q works. So let's just run this. Uh, priority Q. Okay. okay, here we go. So as you can see, we put in uh, one, three, four, two, but the order we're getting is one, two, three, four. So it's based on the the lowest values being uh, pulled out first. So in this example, um, we're assuming that all of our data will be in integer form because this one, three, four, two are all integers and uh, we'll be pulling out the lowest valued integer. But say we, we're not dealing with integers. Say our data is some sort of uh, abstract data. Um, that in this case, uh, to make it reproducible, um, I will represent it as strings. So say our, our data is some sort of abstract data, but I will represent it as strings in this case to show you how we can deal with non-integer values. So our most important data will be priority one, second most will be priority two, and so on. So I'm going to show you how we can use priority queue to deal with these uh, types of data. So now, how can we use priority queue to deal with this uh, type of data, non-integer? Uh, non-numerical type of data. 
we will utilize tuples. So I'm going to show you now. So this q.put, what we want to do is uh, turn everything into tuples. So let's see. We're just going to create a tuple-like form. And this will be our data. So in this case, remember I said I'm going to be representing the data as uh, a strings. In this case, because I don't have any data, but priority, uh, the spelling doesn't matter. Um, so priority two, let me just copy it. And priority two. So this looks good. So I'm turning everything into tuples. Instead of just having the, the one, three, four, two, I've also added the data. So priority one, priority three, priority four, priority two. This is, um, this is our data. The other thing I need to do is now we don't want these uh, 1342, we just want these this data that, we're, that these values are representing. Okay, so by adding a one, what we're going to do is we're going to be printing out the first index of the tuple, which is the basically the data we want. This is the zeroth index, and this is the first index. So the zeroth index is representing the priority values, which the queue we use. Um, essentially, these values are just representations of the priority of our data. We can use q.get to pull out the data and forget about these uh, priority q values that are just representing the priority ranking of the data. So let's just run this and, oops, forgot a comma. Here we go. So let me just run this one more time. All right, here we go. As you can see, priority one, priority two, priority three, priority four. So it's, it's actually printing out the data and not these numerical values. So yeah, so hopefully that gives you uh, an idea of how to use non-integer, non-numerical uh, values when dealing, when using priority queue. So I'm going to end the video here. There's more methods and attributes that I want to introduce to you regarding queue, and then I want to give some examples, um, so maybe some closer to real life examples of utilizing queue. In the future, I'm probably going to put out those videos. That's it for this video. I will see you guys next time.